Well guys, it finally happened. Someone rear-ended me. Now, I live in a touristy area. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, but unfortunately, it was by an actual local. So, thank God there was no real damage. This guy right here, by Rhino, USA, saved my rear bumper. So as you can see, basically all the paint of this has come off. It's all starting to rust already. Uh, very humid here. But uh, yeah, this basically took the brunt of it. The only scratches that I have is down here. And I can't even tell though if this is from her car or if it's from off-roading because there's just some scratches like way down there but you can see it kind of comes off so I'm not sure if that was actually her car or if that was just from off-roading like going up some inclines and stuff and just getting a little bit of it but basically what had happened was I stopped at the light and you know how you just kind of preemptively look up in your rear view camera and I saw this SUV just barreling down I was like oh my god they are not gonna stop and I have nowhere to go. So I just kind of braced myself and then next thing I know the ass end of that SUV is pitching up like this because it's uh, brake control or whatever just boop 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 like hit on. So I see the butt end go up and the car just, just right into the back and I immediately threw it in the park. I was pissed. It was after work so I was still in uniform and everything which I don't like to be in public in uniform in the first place and then not only that, but now I have to deal with in the middle of the highway, kind of highway, with an accident. And this lady opens the door. She's so distraught. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then she like lifts up her glasses and her eyes, they were all bruised. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? She's like, I just had surgery. I'm so sorry. I'm like, why? Why are you driving right now? So that kind of made me upset and this this poor little lady, she's probably like 65 years old or so, so I'm trying to stay calm with her. And she's like, I'm going to my friends, I'm sorry. I was like, your friend should have been driving you in the first place. But anyways, I took a picture of all of her stuff. I looked at my car and I really didn't see anything. I mean this, you know, you, you can repaint this. And the lady obviously was having a bad day and her car was a brand new 2018 Audi SUV some number I don't even know Audi has all numbers and stuff but her car <laughs> I felt bad that thing right there just blew a hole through her whole grill the whole grill was like smashed in and just like crumpled pieces of it were like all on the ground and I felt really really bad I was like ma'am this is gonna cost you way more than it would me for a new one of those and then the scratches they were already wiping off so I was like I'll just buff that out I was like, I took a picture of your stuff. If I find like ripples in my bumper, like from further inspection, then uh, I'll go ahead and file a claim. But I don't think I'm gonna file a claim at all. Uh, just because like I said, it's a little aftermarket part down there. That's the only damage. But I, I just couldn't believe that one, she was driving and two, if her, if, if she was like in a, if she was in some older car or something like that, barreling down and the car didn't stop itself, she probably easily would have hit me at like 50 miles an hour at a dead stop, which is, that that's a lot of damage. So thankfully, no one was hurt. The vehicle, my vehicle wasn't hurt at all. Uh, her car definitely was hurt. It definitely had a big old hole through its uh, little grill and everything. But yeah, this thing right here, I'm super glad I just left it on instead of, uh, instead of just taking it off when I'm not off-roading. I mean, one, I don't like the little Toyota plastic thing because people just unfortunately swipe those. But this, I mean, it held up, it held up really, really good. And all it, I mean, you could see how far it went and it probably went into her uh, crash impact bar. But yeah, that's really the only damage. I mean, you see this on my bumper, but that's not from her car, that's from moving. Unfortunately, I dropped furniture on that, but. So yeah guys, I figured I'd just update you on that. Uh, just if you're looking at for something back there and you want that, I mean, sure, it really, really helps. It's always nice to have some protection in the back, but for some of the subscribers that like to know the day-to-day -day stuff that kind of happens with this vehicle, I figured I'd just share with you all. If you're new, feel free to subscribe, like the video if you want, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you later.